It's the event of the year in Tampa Bay. The Super Bowl is much more than just a football game. It's a super spectacle that reaches far into the host community, and this year, Pinellas County students have a bigger role in the extravaganza than ever before. Our team of student reporters will chronicle the 10 days of Super Bowl. Taking you all over the Tampa Bay area, showing you the many ways Pinellas County students are part of Big Game. Talking to celebrities about the role of education in their lives and getting a glimpse into the fun and excitement of Super Bowl 43. It's all next in a special edition of PCS Journal, Super Bowl for Students. Super Bowl Countdown begins now. Hello, I'm Anetta Kozub, a senior at Countryside High School. We're here at the NFL Experience in the shadow of Raymond James Stadium. This is the epicenter of all the fun and excitement of Super Bowl 43. We're set to kick off our Super Week with the opening ceremonies of the NFL Experience and the Countryside High School Marching Band has a huge role in today's activities. Let's check it out. Hi, I'm Camille York, a senior at Northeast High. And I'm Amanda Borges, a senior at Tarpon Springs High School. Today we're here at Jefferson High for the first rehearsal for the Super Bowl halftime show. More than 2,000 people are here to participate in the halftime extravaganza featuring Rock and Roll Hall of Famer Bruce Springsteen. This was a scene earlier this morning as we lined up to enter the stadium. It's like a scene from an American Idol tryout. This is our team of Pinellas County students from Osceola, Dixie Holland, and Boca Ciega. I'm Sarah Myers, a senior at Seminole High. Super Bowl week is here, and a city within a city is springing up around us here at the NFL Media Headquarters. This is the place where the entire world gets our news about what's going on during Super Bowl week. So here it is, the day I've been waiting for, Super Bowl Media Day. It's kind of like the airport with bomb sniffing dogs. Also using his communications background here at Media Day is longtime Buccaneer and Super Bowl champion Warren Sapp. Warren is Hi, I'm Camille York and we're here at NFL Experience for Kids Day. Today, children from all over the Tampa Bay region have been hand-selected for a fun-filled day of football festivities. And that includes a ton of students from Pinellas County Schools. Meanwhile, back at Kids Day, a surprise visitor gets into the fun. Governor and former St. Pete High quarterback Charlie Chris shows off some of his football skills to students from Walsingham Elementary. But while talking... Hi, I'm Anetta Kozub from Countryside High School. As we have seen, students have had a big role in Super Bowl festivities all week long. But tonight, the focus turns to the teachers at the Super Learning and a Super City Gala here at the IMAX Theater at Channelside in Tampa. And, uh... This star-studded event brings out celebrities dedicated to education, and that includes Super Bowl champion and former Buccaneer John Lynch. The Super Bowl Media Center. This is the first time ever the boss has performed at a Super Bowl halftime show. And the first time in over 20 years that he has had a press conference. More than 600 journalists crammed into the West Ballroom to this historic occasion, with the media from all over the world covering the biggest press conference of the Super Bowl week. Springsteen only answers a half a dozen questions from the court of reporters. He tells the New York Times about playing at the inauguration. It was a good warm-up for this, you know. I mean, we'll have a lot of crazy football fans, but you won't have Lincoln staring over your shoulder. I asked Bruce Springsteen about how he has been able to span the generations. Hi, Mr. Springsteen. I'm Sarah Myers from Pinellas County Schools Channel. Hello. Can you talk about your cross-generational appeal? I know you have a lot of fan, a big fan base from uh, baby boomers like my parents, but also high school students. <laughs> <laughs> high school students like myself that would and be my me. <laughs> <Go ahead. laughs> and my friends are really excited to be a part of your halftime show. Can you talk about how you've been able to keep this appeal going throughout the generations? Just by sticking around long enough. I mean, you know, if you if if you if you don't die, people get a chance to see you. <laughs> you know? Today, we're at Tropicana Field for the 18th annual Taste of the NFL, the premier food event during Super Bowl week. 32 NFL teams are represented by top chefs and a player from that team who come together to make great food for an even better cause, fighting hunger. We're in the food prep area getting ready for tonight's big event. And for students from Dixie Hollins High School, they're in for an education of a lifetime. They're working with Chef Rathburn from Atlanta. 
Well, here it is, finally, Super Bowl Sunday. We've had an interesting journey. Thursday night was our final dress rehearsal for the game, and we got pretty wet. It rained, the boss played, and it rained some more. So I guess they felt pretty sorry for us because we got to go home a little early. But today, the sun is shining, and we're all excited, and so are some of our teammates. How we're here at Raymond James Stadium. We're less than 24 hours ago. This place is crazy. Now it's raining, but thank goodness it wasn't happening yesterday. Amanda and Camille, can you tell us your favorite experience from this week? One of my favorite memories from this past week would definitely have to be um, being on the field with 2,000 people for the halftime show with Bruce Springsteen. It was definitely a lot of excitement and a lot of fun. Well, I'd say being at the NFL Experience Kids Day, interviewing Ike Hilliard, Ward Dunn, the NFL Commissioner, and Governor Charlie Chris can't be that experience. What about you, Nada? I definitely loved being at the Super Learning Super City Gala where I actually got to talk to John Lynch. It was great. What about you, Alana? Well, I'd have to say the taste of the NFL because I love cooking and we got to be right in the kitchen with the chefs. How about you, Sarah? Well, I got to attend Media Day where I got to interview Ben Roethlisberger and I got to go to a press conference where I interviewed Bruce Springsteen. We all have a lot of memories from the past 10 days that will definitely last a lifetime. An unforgettable experience, that's for sure. Now let's go on the field and play with some confetti.